Hey, this is Amal from Tech Leathercraft. This is going to be a two part video. I'm going to talk about and review the Peak Design Leash and some of their other accessories. In the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how to use these accessories and the Pro Screw and use it to make a custom leather leash. That'll be in the second part of the video. I'll be talking about the anchor links and the anchor points and showing you how to use those to make your own custom leather straps. But in this part of the video, I'll be reviewing the Peak Design accessories and the leash. I'll be talking about them briefly. I do recommend you watch this part because it will make a lot more sense when I actually do the DIY part. So just to show you really quick, this is the leash I picked up and I'll be talking about this the most. These are the anchor links. They're basically designed to go onto your own camera strap. So existing camera strap you may already have, but I'm going to be using them to make a DIY kind of make your own camera strap. These are the anchor points. This, this is probably one of the major parts of the system. Makes it really easy to quick change between leashes and camera straps. Next is the Pro Drive. This is like a tripod screw that goes in and allows you to add one of the anchor points. I'll talk about that more in the video. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this with my Canon 60D. I actually am going to be replacing my original Canon strap. One of the big things about picking a camera strap, one of the struggles I've had, especially with someone who wants to make their own, is that every camera strap is different. You can see this one has an oblong point. I think Peak Design and how they implement their connections does a really good job at addressing this. I'll talk about that later. So the leash can be used as a camera strap, a sling style. It can be also attached to a belt, for example, so that if you drop your camera, it doesn't fall. And when it's attached to the belt, you can kind of use it as a stabilizer to kind of steady the motion out a little bit. One thing I'll notice right away is that the packaging for the Peak Design is really nicely done. There's a really clear instructions included, which I'll show you in just a second. Just overall, they explain the design, the way they package, for example, like the nylon pouch. It's a really nice touch, really nice add-on, a little decal with social media information. This is their quick setup guide they include in a, it's in multiple languages. I won't go over it, but you can see that they're very thorough with the instructions, which is really nice because you know you're not, you're not getting like a cheap product. There's very clear instructions on how to put it together. So once it's out of the box, you'll notice there's two connectors on each end with uh, two anchor points. There's an anchor point attached to the slider mechanism, and there's a spare anchor point, which is nice that they include that because I'll be using that later. So just to show you really quick how to use the part where you attach it to the belt, all you do is kind of double it back on, on itself and you connect it that way. Now this is the part that would go onto the belt for example and you would use it as a stabilizer. One thing I did notice because of that little extra connector in the middle is you can in fact wrap it around your wrist if you wanted to make a wrist strap. Now they do make actually a really small version of a wrist lanyard so if you don't really want to mess with wrapping it around your hand a couple times I would go check that out. I'll have the links to their website in the description. So attaching it to the camera for example is really simple. This is going to be the same kind of method regardless of the camera you have because it will go on to your mirrorless, your micro four thirds cameras in the same manner. And then what's nice is it's not going to matter whether you have like an oblong lug or if you have a split ring. It should fit most cameras with the exception of some of the point and shoots, which I'll talk about in a little bit. You can see once you have it attached, it is a really nice, low profile, out of the way configuration. I really like it. It's a lot better than the old school uh, quick connects, other little snap buckles that would flop around everywhere. Because I am attaching this to my DSLR, I'm going to be using the Pro Screw. You can see that it has a really nice rubber texture and has some grip right there. It's actually a really thick piece of rubber and they even have a metal washer or two after that point so it can clamp down really nice. I also like their swivel up D-ring. It's a really nice touch. I'll talk about that briefly in a little bit. Now I'm going to hand tighten it on here. You know hand tightening would probably work alright because it holds there pretty well. But if you're using it with a heavier digital SLR with a heavier lens, I do recommend using the Allen wrench that included. Right now I'm just having it kind of aimed forward when it's on. 
but you can do some minor adjustments by turning it so that it sits in the proper direction. You can see that they really thought of the design of this because even with the anchor point on, it lays flat in, in either direction, front or back. So you can see that some nice attention to detail, making sure that it still sits flush with the camera. So this is uh, just how the whole setup is on my hands when I don't have the leash. You can see the anchor points aren't flopping around anywhere. They're not in the way of the dial or the display. In fact, after two weeks of using it, I barely noticed they were there when I had the camera strap removed. So it was a really nice setup if you don't like a bunch of straps hanging around. So really quick, I'll just show you the anchor connectors. There's a slot right there, which I'll talk about in the DIY portion. All you do is you line up the anchor point into the channel and you kind of push down and slide it forward and it clicks into place. A really nice quick change. To remove it, all you have to do is depress it and kind of slide it back. This allows you to switch the strap and multiple devices or even change just the configuration between the tripod screw, for example, and the lug. You can see here I'm just fine tuning a little bit and you're going to want to do that depending on the device you have it on so that it hangs properly. You can see it sits really nicely, has a nice design because it's nice and slim. I use this for about two weeks and now I can use it with left or right hand and switching and disconnecting it actually became faster and faster and that's only after two weeks of use. I imagine after a month or so it'll be really quick. Just to touch on the tripod screw, it's really well designed compared to some of the other tripod screws I've seen. I, I had no problem getting it in and out of my camera bag, where some of the other ones I've used, they are a little bit bulky at the bottom and they would catch on my camera bag. The measurement wise, just measuring from the end to end, they're about 31 inches at its shortest, if you use this slider to move it back and forth, and it extends all the way to 56 inches. So the anchor packs, I also picked up a four pack they offer. I end up adding them to my camcorder. So just to show you really quick, I can quickly disconnect it from my digital SLR and I ended up moving the pro screw to the tripod mount on my camcorder. I can switch between devices now without any issue and it's a really nice fast system to use. This is what it looks like without the strap on. This is the old hand strap I had. You can see that it's being worn out from being caught on the zipper. One of the annoying things about it is when I have the camera angle downwards shooting at the ground, the hand strap would want to go in front of the lens. That's no longer an issue because now I can just remove the strap altogether. With something like the Canon S95 here, I have here, the connector is a little bit too thick to fit into the standard lanyard section. I just ended up adding up the Pro Screw to the bottom of the S95 and adding a second anchor point. And just for the heck of it, I thought I would just try it on my digital voice recorder. This is the Tascam DR05. It has a tripod mount on the bottom. Now this is a really nice option if you're into journalistic work or if you're doing a quick interview, anything like that, where you want to just have it like hanging around your neck or on a sling. You do have to adjust it a little bit to make sure it hangs right, but it's easily hangs and you have quick access to it. I know most people won't use it that way, but you could. That has been my review of the Peak Design Leash and the accessories using the Pro Screw and their anchor points. Really versatile system, really functional. You can switch between your digital SLR, your camcorder, point and shoots, your mirrorless cameras. Stay tuned for the second part where I'll be talking about the anchor points and the connectors in a little bit more detail. Also be talking about the Pro Screw, which really adds some functionality. I'll show you how to use those to make your own custom leather accessories. So we'll start with the hand strap. I'll probably do a camera strap. And I have a couple more ideas, so stay tuned. They'll be coming up in a week or so. If you like tech, leather, EDC, subscribe to my channel. And I'll have that video coming up pretty soon. Thanks.